The 19th century was a time of westward expansion in America. Early settlers and pioneers needed a horse that could handle the rugged new life in the Ozarks. Stylish enough to pull a buggy and reliable enough to be the family riding horse. Tough enough to plow the fields and agile enough to work cattle. A horse that would become a favorite for country doctors, sheriffs, assessors, and cattlemen because of a special ability to cover long distances with a sure-footed and smooth gait. That horse was the Missouri Foxtrotter. They have three standard gaits. Um, same foot movement really as a regular walk of a quarter horse. Yep. Everything's just sped up quite a bit. Um, it has an overstride, so the hind foot tends mm -hmm. to overstride the track of the front foot. Okay. So you get a bigger stride there um, and cover a lot of ground. Okay. Um, and then the fox trot, um, in the foxtrot, the horse is walking with their front feet and trotting with their hind feet. Okay. And I think the foxtrot is the only gated breed that has a diagonal gait. It is. So every other gated breed is a laterally faced gait. Right. So they are trotting in their hind end and they are moving in diagonal paired legs, but the front foot lands a split second before the hind foot um, and the hind foot kind of slides into place. The breed motto is to ride one is to own one, and there are plenty of reasons to go find one to ride. I got into them because they were touted 42 years ago as versatile. That's the thing that I wanted. I wanted a horse I could trail ride, I could show, I could do anything I wanted with, and the personality on top of it. So it was the versatility that really drew me to the breed. They're so smooth. And one of the things I noticed when I first started riding uh, a fox trotter, I had ridden quarter horses and I was borrowing horses from friends uh, at that time and um, I rode a really nicely gated fox trotter and holy cow, I could ride a lot longer because I wasn't so tired and worn out from riding the horse because it was so smooth and easy going, you know, and so out on the trail, it was, I could go all day and it didn't bother me a bit, which is great because I never want to get off the horse, right. so it's perfect. <laughs> well, and that's one other thing that I really appreciate about this breed is diversity. So they come in all sizes. Mm -hmm. So you have a married couple and one's short and one's tall, you can get a 14 hand fox trotter, you can get a 16 hand fox trotter. They come in any color. There's so much variety. You can go out and do whatever you want with them. There's really no limit to them. And so you can... So they're good for all ages and all people because their dispositions are so good. They're just a really quiet horse. They're sure-footed, sound horse. So I think that they just make a really good horse for really all ages and they can do everything. I do show quarter horses and I love quarter horses yeah. too, but if I'm gonna go trail riding, I'm riding a fox <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I'm going.